Hi guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of my absolute favorite sandwiches, the banh mi, which is a Vietnamese sandwich. It can be made with pork or chicken. I'm gonna use chicken breasts. I'm gonna do them in the crock pot, slow cook. It takes about four hours with chicken breasts and um, the crock pot I like because the meat stays really moist and tender. I've got some good seasonings going in with that. And then I do a homemade sriracha mayo, which is delicious and then top the sandwich with tons of veggies, uh, radishes, jalapenos, cucumbers, onions, carrots, and, and then fresh cilantro, ooh, and um, oh, in a sub roll, and then that's it. So it's a must make, I tell you that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I have six chicken breasts that I'm going to throw into the crock pot, or drop into the crock pot. Okay, and so to that, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, and we want it to have that nice Asian flavor. So we have to put some soy sauce, half a cup. Okay, ketchup, little thickness, little sweetness, fourth of a cup, I'm eyeballing. Okay. A teaspoon of salt. about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, and then ginger, you could use dry, you could use fresh. I like the squeezable paste, it's awesome, it's very convenient. So I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of that. And I've crushed two cloves of fresh garlic. And that's it, okay, simple, right? So go ahead and get that all mixed around and uh, I'm gonna set it because it's chicken breast. If you put it on high, they're gonna cook too fast and be dry. So um, put, the, put the crock pot on low. And like I said, about four hours. I mean, check it after three. Sometimes chicken breasts cook really fast in the crock pot. So, ooh, that already smells amazing. All right, so I'm gonna turn this on and then I am actually, while this cooks, I'm gonna be back to show you how to do the sriracha mayo. So stay tuned. Okay, so for the homemade sriracha mayo, which is delicious, you could buy store-bought, but obviously homemade is always the best. This is a really simple recipe. So go ahead and get yourself a bowl and you're gonna start with a cup of mayo. Okay, and to that, um, you're gonna put the juice of half of a lemon and I have my strainer so I don't get the seeds. Okay, and key ingredient, sriracha. Two tablespoons. One, two. All right, half a teaspoon of salt. About a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Uh, one clove of garlic that I have ready to crush. And this, this obviously can go on any sandwich, not just the banh mi, but you put a nice layer of this on these sandwiches with that beautifully seasoned chicken and then the crunchy veggies, amazing. And then I have a couple, ta couple tablespoons of um, finely minced cilantro and then more fresh cilantro goes on the sandwiches at the end. So there you have it, as simple as simple can possibly be, homemade sriracha mayo. And if you have extra, you can save it, stores in the fridge for a good, you know, week or two. So this can go in the fridge while we wait for our sandwiches. And then obviously um, while they're going in the crock pot, typically I make my own sub rolls, but I don't have time for that today. So I bought sub rolls, but you can go ahead and get all your veggies chopped up at this point. So you're gonna shred about three carrots, slice, thinly slice about half of a cucumber. I peel the skin off. Um, slice up some onion, it could be red or white, uh, thinly. Um, sliced jalapenos, radishes, you wanna slice those pretty thin. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. And then just some more fresh cilantro leaves at the end. So, all right, I will be back and we will assemble these as soon as the chicken's done. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm back and I have chicken that is cooked. I've got a platter of some great veggies, the sriracha, my sub roll. I'll tell you, the chicken cooked in record time. Um, two hours, it's never cooked that fast for me in the crock pot. So I would say to really monitor it, okay, especially using chicken breast because they do cook faster than like thighs. Um, and so once it started to tenderize, I just pull it with forks. That's why I have these smaller pieces now. And basically you can just continue that process and then it'll lay on the sandwiches better. And um, this, isn't, this isn't all the chicken, I just grabbed some. I'm just gonna assemble one sandwich right now. And uh, I grabbed some of the juice along with it because that keeps it nice and moist. It smells and tastes great. I took a bite. Good enough. All right, so take your sub roll, slice it open on the side. Okay, I like extra sriracha mayo, so I cover both pieces, both sides of the bread or the roll. Okay, and then your chicken. My mouth's watering, seriously, seriously watering. Okay, so it's pretty loaded, pretty nice, nice thick. Okay, so then let's do cucumbers. Okay, so this was one cucumber peeled and I sliced it pretty thin. So you just wanna line those up on your sandwich. Try to get it as close as I can to the camera. Okay, and then uh, we'll go radishes. Okay, I sliced up like six, six radishes. Depends how many sandwiches you're gonna make. Um, and then carrots. Ooh jalapenos. If you don't like spice, leave these out or use less. Okay, I almost forgot my onions. Um, some thinly sliced white onion. And there you go. A classic Vietnamese banh mi sub sandwich. Holy cow. You guys gotta make it and you will love it. I guarantee it. Thank you so much for watching. Remember that all my recipes are right down below and I encourage you to share with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't. And I am going to include at the end of this video the link for my homemade sub rolls because they come out even better on homemade sub rolls, okay? So have a wonderful day. Take care.